Welcome to the Innovative Learning Strategies Podcast, a resource to help improve your organization's learning and development efforts. Here are your hosts, Stephanie Hubka and Christina Eames. Hello, fellow learning innovators. I'm Christina Eames, owner operator of Eames Training, where our world class facilitators help companies perform at their highest level through our catalog of instructor led courses. Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Hupka, and I'm the managing partner of Protos Learning, which is a consulting firm that specializes in creating learning strategies and experiences that seamlessly integrate with your organization's priorities. We're here today at the Association for Talent Development's 2023 International Conference, delivering a session titled Everything You Need to Know About Podcasting in 60 minutes. Yeah. And we decided to leverage our amazing participants and fellow ATDers to launch the Innovative Learning Strategies podcast during this session. This podcast is dedicated to sharing the unique ways organizations are helping their employees learn and develop from everyday learning practitioners. Innovative strategies like using podcasts, maybe within your organization or to gauge or to engage with communities beyond your organization can really help all of us to expand our thinking, connect to each other, and discover innovative ways to do our best work. For example, I've helped organizations create internal and external podcasts, and they've elevated team member voices and ideas, and that's contributed to effective change management and a stronger sense of community for those groups. And podcasting is a true passion of mine. Beyond podcasting in the professional space, I co-host Take to the Sky, the Air Disaster Podcast, which is a long-form storytelling podcast focused on aviation safety. And we co-host the Beltway Broadcast together for talent development practitioners in the D.C. area, although people check in from a lot of different countries. They do. And I also recently retired the Quit Bleeping Around podcast after 400 episodes. And have launched the Life is an Escape Room podcast, in which I co-host with my husband, interviewing folks about how they can learn a lot about themselves while enjoying escape room experiences. Like Stephanie, I have also consulted with organizations who wanted to use podcasts in innovative ways. Internal training on coaching and feedback, a fun way to get people excited about upcoming training, and other organizational initiatives as well as pre and post work reminders for workshops. Absolutely. Yeah. And in episode two of the Innovative Learning Strategies podcast, we're going to explore many ways that you can utilize podcasting as a learning tool within your organization as well. And we'll give you additional resources if you'd like to start your own. Now, to get a feel for what you can expect from this podcast, we've asked several conference session participants to briefly share what innovation means to them and perhaps how they're using it in their organizations. Let's hear from them. Hi, my name is Patricia Roldan, and what does innovation mean to me? Innovation is just as important as knowing how to apply it, so knowing your target audience, um, keeping abreast of the science of learning, the neuroscience of learning, and applying that with the latest um, technology and not trying to apply just everything at once, but really targeting that technology, that neuroscience of learning to the target audience so that those innovative approaches can come through um, and, uh, and be applied well. My name is Stephanie Bedour, and I believe in full transparency in podcasts. So a portion of this I have written up before I came up here. Uh, And so I'm going to give you that first, but what innovation means to me, it's the fuel that propels us beyond boundaries, unlocking creativity, driving podcasts or progress and turning possibilities into realities. It was possible that I came up here with a short and very powerful response here, but it wouldn't be reality without my innovative friend, ChatGPT. Hey, my name's Stephen Herman and got posed a great question here about what does innovation mean to me? And I've got 90 seconds to do that in, so let's go for it. So interestingly, I looked at what does invent versus innovation mean? An event is to, you know, bring something brand new that you've never heard of before, you know, like the iPhone, if you will. An innovation is to take that iPhone, you know, how do you make it better? How do you make it work uh, to do more things? And I think that's what innovation really means to me is, is how do you make something better? And in fact, that's what I look at every day. You know, if we don't think about innovation and making something better, it's better for people, not just for me, but how do we make it better? 
better for people is going to, you know, bring a lot to the world and keep us rolling forward. It's kind of like I'm not going to reinvent the wheel, right? But I'm going to make that wheel roll better, work better, maybe get over something a little better and uh, make the world a better place. So innovation is a most important thing to me. Hello, my name is Rhonda Thompson, and I am so excited to answer the question about what innovation means to me. I have always been a risk taker. So for me, innovation is about taking risks and not being afraid to think outside the box. I am that person that will challenge the status quo. So being a risk taker means innovation to me. It's taking the ordinary and making it extraordinary. That is what innovation means to me. Hello, I'm Richard Russell with the United States Coast Guard, and I've been asked to spend the next 90 seconds talking to you about what innovation means to me. And really what it means to me is it's a, it's a thought process. It's a way of thinking. It's a, it's a culture. It's a comfort of being able to challenge what is currently happening, uh, being willing to kind of rethink everything and, and abandon that status quo. In the learning context or learning strategy context especially, um, you know, we're emerging from a time where butts and seats, resident face-to-face -face course is kind of that gold standard. And now we sort of have to rethink everything about how we engage with our learners and create experiences that matter, drive behavior and improve performance. Uh, so I think really our challenge is there's a lot of shiny objects out there. There's a lot of different ways that we can interact with learners and drive learning. Um, so there has to be a discipline there. We have to consider, you know, what is going to create the best experience? that's going to drive the outcome that we're looking for and create that experience for our learners that's ultimately going to make a difference. So thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. Hi, my name is Luke Sokolowski, and I'm here to tell you what innovation means to me. I uh, like to be pretty much to the point. So innovation for me is figuring out better and more effective ways to do that, uh, to do certain things. So thinking outside the box to find the most effective and most efficient way to do something is what innovation means to me. My name is Tiffany, and to me, innovation is about meeting an unmet need. But innovation is an outcome. To get to innovation, you have to innovate. And innovating is all about having both a mindset and the right behaviors. To be curious, to be open-minded, to look for what people are, are wanting and, and needing. Uh, so you know, it's really that special person that has that ability to really have an open mind in order to innovate. Hi, I'm Danielle eisenach Reichel with Persinius Medical Care. And to me, innovation is doing common things in uncommon ways. So considering the resources and the strengths of those around you, finding greater efficiencies, ways to be more effective, and rethinking, relearning, reimagining what's possible so that we can get the best of the people around us and have the best possible outcomes. Excited to see your innovations. Hi, I'm Sarah Henderson, Senior Learning Development Partner at Calendly. And to me, innovation is about finding a way. It's about unlearning and rethinking norms and ways of doing, often breaking down barriers, but doing that with specific outcomes in mind, outcomes that create meaningful moments, that drive performance, create connection, increase productivity, and manifest change. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Jenny, and innovation to me really compels us to think new and flashy and exciting, but it really instills a concept of being able to go back and use the new and flashy resources and tools that we now have available to us to go back and see how can we do what we've done better and different and re-engage so not just creating something new from scratch, but bringing along the learning journey that we've already creating, created, the legacy that we've created, and bringing it with us in this new and flashy way. Hi, everybody. My name is Michelle. I'm a learning and performance consultant. And what does innovation mean to me? It, there's so much involved in that, but I really like to say that it involves acceptance of change. I think change is so important um, when it comes to being able to try and do new things and looking at uh, new innovative processes or ways of learning something. So being acceptable of change really is tant tantamount to being able to, uh, to do something new and innovative. 
And there you have it, folks, a taste of what to expect from this podcast in the future. You may even see some of the participants as future guests on our show. We hope you learned a lot from today's episode. Go to InnovativeLearningStrategies.com for even more resources.